first load back from the beach. Today is Wednesday. For all of y'all that don't follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, make sure you follow me on Instagram. D underscore I Z, the letter two, and then N I C E. D underscore is too nice. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Snapchat. You can grab the snap code. I'll drop it up here. Grab the snap code. Or if you want to type my name in, it is Dion Melvin on Snapchat. Most of y'all already found me on Facebook. Dion Melvin on Facebook. Or you can grab the link out of the, com out of the comments or out of the description down below. Whew. We are here. I got an 8 o'clock appointment. Look like they open now. The gate's open. But my appointment's at 8 o'clock. So I'm already here. I was going to take some of those straps off. But I don't feel like it. I'll tell you what. This wind does feel good, though. Feels pretty good out here, if I must say so myself. So, all right, you then. I will see y'all in the morning. Your boy is beat with the capital B. Flatbed game. Guess what, gang bangers? Flatbed gang bangers? <laughs> this is the place that I was just showed y'all last night. But guess what? I pulled inside the gate this morning. I slept here last night. I had somebody knocked on my door about, about 4 o'clock in the morning, telling me to move my truck. But they had another truck that had to come out. But, uh, Somebody knocking on my damn truck. I'm like, who the hell is this? this guy telling me to move my truck. So I moved my truck, went back to sleep. Then somebody else knocking on my door about, about 6.30. It was the guy telling me to pull inside the gate where I'm at right now. But when I got here, pulled up where I'm about to pull at now, I had to end up turning back around and going to a different yard right down the street. So now I'm back. And the reason I'm back in it now is because this is the this is the only time it ever happened to me. I know it happened to some people, but this is the first time that I got a fucking reload. What the hell? Poor lift guy. Fort lift guy doing hand signals. All right, so you want me to get over right here? Yeah, yeah, so I got to go over and that. Okay, got you. Hey, man, do, do these forklift drivers, do they got like a class that they take? When they get their forklift license, to, uh, to learn how to do sign language. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm starting to think, man. I'm starting to think they, uh, they got some kind of class that they like to take. To learn how to do sign language. So everywhere you go, they know sign language. But some of them don't know to blow the horn when they want you to stop. Some of them don't know that. Long story short, I'm, I'm picking up a load at the same place I delivered to. First time it happened in my whole career. It's never happened like that. All right.
like he don't even got a pickup number or nothing so i don't even know how he knows what what to load on my truck but he says i guess i'm the only truck i guess they might have been expecting me because i had a 10 o'clock appointment it's 9 34 right now because i actually left i didn't stay here when i got unloaded i left went to the pilot got some uh coffee which i got right now we ain't brushed my teeth because i ain't had time to brush my teeth this morning because soon the dude knocked on my door my appointment was at 8 he knocked on the door at 6 30. i hopped in the driver's seat not even with, with just my wife beater and my damn boxers to pull my truck up hey you know how they do they knock on your door and they, they stand right there and they tell you to go right ahead don't they give you time to get yourself together you know how they do So I guess I better get out and see what's going on. Well, 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 what do we have here? Cluster fuck. Put the five straps on this one. Five on that one. Put four on this one. Four on this one. You gotta look at the other side. There's one right here. I mean, I need them over there. So I need two more from the other side right here. And four on that one, all from the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and throw all these straps so I know exactly what I'm working with when I get to the other side. That rain has slacked off a little bit. Y'all been watching, y'all watch my old videos. Y'all remember that one from Dirty Jobs when I was up in Connecticut. I did the flatbed Olympics. <laughs> y'all remember that? People watching this video that are not truck drivers, now y'all understand why truck drivers are always pissed off. Look at that mud. Crazy. Waiting on this guy to come back so I can move these damn tarps. Go ahead, put them on top of the load. Shit. Oh, fuck. Fall in the damn spider web. Fuck. Probably one of the dirtiest situations I've ever been in. Look at these straps. Look at my arm. Already getting muddy out here. Working hard, D. Working hard. I do this shit, gang. 
cushion my knees. Hey, do what you love, love what you do. If you ain't having fun with your job, man, you gotta get on up out of there, gang. Get on up out of there. Yeah, I'm talking all this shit about in the mud and all this, but hey, it is what it is. Flat big game. Shower. When I leave here, I plan on going all the way. If I don't stop at Ruthless Glen in Virginia, I stop. If I can make it to Emporia, I stop there. But I ain't stopping till I get to Virginia. That's where we're gonna take the shower at. Look at all that mud. Ew. Hey, whenever they had a flatbed Olympics. Whenever they had a flatbed Olympics, y'all know who they gonna call first. Man. Oh man, well, that's it. I gotta throw two more straps. So I got most of them out of the way. I gotta go to the staging area. Turn the paperwork in. I remember that flatbed Olympics. Y'all yeah, remember it. I ain't gonna do all that on this one. We're gonna whip this one. Whip that son of a bitch. Whip that son of a bitch. straps on this trailer. all these on this side. Now we gotta go to the other side. I got all the straps up there, but I got an issue right here. 
I got a belly strap that I can't tighten up because it's sitting on the down. You got to sit directly on it. So I'm waiting on the guy to come back. All I got to do is lift that up just a little bit where I can get up there. And well, not get up there, but just pull it right there and tighten it. I don't know where the hell he at. doesn't go there all done money crew yeah you don't want to leave nothing like that on top of your load might fall off and hurt somebody Waiting on my paperwork now. I tell y'all what, man, it's been an eventful day for me to have, for me to have been at the shipper where I dropped off my last load. I sat there, I sat there for almost about three and a half hours. Whew. Crazy, I ain't gonna say it's crazy, man, pretty much normal. It started loading me and I, I looked out the window. I didn't see nobody back there, but I had a lot of stuff on my truck. So I was like, they must be finished. So I, I went to the, uh, to the little little office they got. And they don't want you in the office. You gotta sit in the truck while you're getting loaded. So you ain't supposed to get out the truck until they get finished. But I went to the little office they got. And I was like, hey, what's going on? Y'all finish, y'all finish uh unloading? Well loading me. They was like, nah, we had to take a break. <laughs> I was like, man. I hate when they do that, man. They need to have like a Everybody don't got to go to break at the same time. Like, if you only got like five forklift drivers, you know, and you say you working on a load, the other four ain't doing nothing, you know, y'all could go to break. This guy, like, when you finish with your last truck, then you go to break. That's how it should be. I guess they don't say it like that. One, six, one. One, two. Yeah, I thought I could get y'all a little bit of action today, man, but hey, that's it. It's the way the cookie crumbles. I had two low offers, one going to Connecticut and one going to New York. Paid pretty good. But I turned them down because they deliver tomorrow on Friday. So if I would have took them lows, I probably, I probably would have, uh, Probably wouldn't have made it home this weekend. Hey, I'll call you right back. Right. I just got, I was just looking at something I got tagged in on Facebook. My girlfriend just tagged me in it. Man. It's going down in Minnesota, man. It's going down. That's what she just tagged me in. And I actually got tagged in a, another one earlier by my other buddy. Yeah, it's going down up there, man. I, I ain't even going to speak on that subject. I ain't even going to speak on it. I'm going to leave it alone. But, you know, it is It is pretty unfortunate that, that it did happen, man. And That's not justice. It's not justice. I ain't going to get too political on YouTube about it. But I feel, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't, if me personally, I wouldn't be out there protesting, you know, I'm not even going to say protesting, but like breaking in stores and, you know, setting stuff on fire, stuff like that. I probably wouldn't be doing that. I got to send my damn depart shipper call. That's, that's what I was doing. I was actually writing down the load 
load number a while ago, but I didn't never send it. But yeah, man. Hey, I don't, only thing, hey, I don't, I don't know what we can do, man. I don't know. I could have that conversation, but I can't have it right now. Hey, pray for change. Pray for change, man. It's crazy that the police can, and, and then the history repeats itself. This happens almost every year. The police kill somebody by using excessive force, and most of the time they always get away with it. But when it comes to my black, when it comes to my black people, you know we'll go out there and you know set stuff on fire and want to shoot people over over something like this happening. But you can't change the stuff if you can't change it if you're only going to protest when you want to protest and set stuff on fire, stuff like that. But in these in all these different neighborhoods, you know, we got black on black crime all the time. Like y'all, like we we will kill each other. And I almost said y'all because I don't I don't put myself in that environment. So we as black people, y'all that that do this crazy stuff, y'all will kill each other all the time. And and like police come investigate it, you won't even and you won't even snitch. Like you'll know who done it, but you won't even tell the police because of this because of this street code that we supposedly live by. But I, I don't get myself caught up in that environment, man. I'm better. I'm, I'm a professional. I'm trying to better myself for me and my family. You know, I don't got time for this living in the hood, black on black crime or whatever. But if y'all want to protest, don't protest when something like this happens. Hey, just do right all the time. We got to stop killing each other. Because that, that's that's what it is. No one's taking, no one's taking us serious as black people. No one's taking us serious because of the things that we do. We hate on each other, we rob each other, we kill each other, and then we go we go right about our day like like ain't nothing happened. But but soon as soon as the white man comes kill one of us, we want to go out there and set stuff on fire and jump on police cars and shit like that. Nobody's taking us serious. Nobody's taking us serious. If we don't change ourselves, we can't change nothing else. Hey, tell me what y'all think, man. Leave it down in the comments. I said I won't gonna talk about it, but I couldn't help it. I might, hey, hey, tell me what y'all think in the comments, man, but what I'm going to say right now, we as black folks, we got to do better. We got to do better. Nobody's taking us serious. Hey, flatbed game, man, I'm out. I'll see y'all on the next one. Love y'all, man.